How's it going, guys? Playing some Freedom Fighters here. An oldie but goodie, and a uh, game I used to play a lot as a kid, so I really do want to you know, jump into this and kind of see if it still stands up the to the test of time, or if it's uh, incredibly boring. We'll, we'll have to just go ahead and take a look. Let's do Rebel, which is uh, the second out of four. of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons. You got me right there. Cold. Damn, I look like an idiot still holding the drinks I've been paying for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. We popped the clutch, so let's get on with it. What's up with the work seat today, bro? Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. God. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we'd get a fancy condo on the east side with a view. Whoa. Isabella Angel, whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? Hey, I saw her on TV yesterday. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap. Hey, how you doing, no-name jellyfish? What do you mean, conspiracy crap? Well, doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What? Speaking of which, how about this rip stop? I'd really like to check out the plumbing on that Isabella chick. Hello? Plumber's on patrol. Anybody home? Yeah. Whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a drain surgeon here. There is one here. Wow! The Soviets broke in immediately. That was fast. Cool, man. I'm just the plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. I will ask again. Where is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not. Well, Isabella cannot be far from here. Form the place to be. Yeah, this is such a classic No Name Jollyfish. When I was younger, I used to play this so much. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to see what, what it had to offer again. Man, I don't know if I can get used to these old school uh, graphics. Oh, my goodness. Not even sure where I'm supposed to go. I'm trying to run to the street. Probably not the right idea. All right, we got one. You're free. Wait, does he have a gun? All right. Hey, War Pig, how you doing, buddy? Perfect. He won't trouble us anymore. Now we got a gun. Hurry! We mustn't linger here. More soldiers. Shoot them. Such old school firing. It reminds me. It reminds me of like a time crisis. But I remember I used to love this game so much. If there was just a little bit of a blood mod, that would be nice. Oh, it might. Yeah, it looks a lot like Hitman too. That's interesting you mentioned that, man. That very much so. Very much so. I could see that, except the lack of blood. We are not as well supplied as the enemy, so we'll have to Ooh. aim at the fuel barrels rather than the soldiers. Way ahead of you, boss. Oh my goodness, one of them's on the roof and everything. Oh! Let's grab their guns. Oh, we can actually select the mech. I did not remember this aspect of the game. That's awesome. Got plenty of med kits left. Let's kill the Reds. Come on, boys. Charge! The crazy thing about this game, it came out in uh, 2003. You know, two years after 9-11. And it's set in New York City. Uh, 
I remember when it first came out, me and my friends were kind of like annoyed that it wasn't terrorists and that it was uh, Russians. But it, they had to do that to be safe. There's no way they could have gotten away with like, uh, uh, you know, Al Qaeda taking over the city. That it just wouldn't be. It wouldn't be believable. Number one, and it wouldn't be politically correct at the time. Of true freedom fighter. I love how like the most working class profession too, a plumber is the <laughs> is the super capitalist. <laughs> All right, let's get that Molotov. Burn him out. Throw those babies. Freedom. Oh yeah, baby, Steve Reich and he's out. Yeah, basically, Warpig, if you've seen the movie, um, Red Dawn, it's basically Red Dawn in New York City, is, is the way you want to look at it. But it's a really interesting game, like, it sounds really simplistic, but if I'm correct, you know, when I used to play this as a kid, this is a great game. It's got a great storyline, uh, obviously very good guy, bad guy-esque, but there's a lot of, like, twists and turns, so we'll just have to see. It's been so long since I've played this. Yeah, it did, and the remake was terrible. Really terrible. It was against uh, North Korea invades the U.S., which is just so ridiculous. Here we go, Soviet news! Or as my uh, right-wing fans would say, uh, MSNBC. And comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, look at that jawline exactly. <laughs> all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. I agree with her. What's wrong with this? I I, I support it. Can we just quit the game and let the Soviets invade? They have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship. And we will soon restore law and order in the world of government. And we expect and believe every citizen will set allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance... She's got an orc's jawline. It's a... Uh, Pretty intense, man. Our great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will be addressing the nation later. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future. This was also during the time where they weren't afraid to actually give the city name. Like, you know, these days they'll call it like Liberty City or, or Gotham or something like that. Yeah, then we can play all the region locked RTS games. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> oh, shit. See, this part of the game, now, I, I know the aesthetic now is not that pretty, but when I first played this game, this aesthetic was, like, unbelievable. Remember, this is 2003, so I loved, like, being in the sewer and having to fight the Soviets from the comfort of the sewer. Just so cool. So do remember it like it is. Of course, it's not an open world game. It's like, you know, it's levels, etc. But it's nicely done here. This is our base. It's a safe zone. We store equipment here. With complete control of the sewer system. Freedom City, exactly. No new jellyfish. Freedom City. <laughs> All of our maps will indicate the location of the sewer access points. Let us go over to the table and take a look. We're at the table, but okay. Secure the police station and liberate our leader, Isabella. Raise your flag to signal our release. Let's do it, guys. All right, time to secure the police station. Now I'm a proper freedom fighter. And this is, of course, when you start getting uh, additional rebels. You can actually send them to attack. Just really cool stuff. Yeah, WW2v2. I, um... I used to love the look of this game. I will say, like, it's it's aged okay. I've seen some games that have aged so badly. I'm trying to think of examples um, of games that I just think have aged poorly. Like, Stronghold 2. I just can't play it. It's so old. Um, but I like the original Stronghold. But this is okay. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. Oh, we got NYPD. How you doing, boys? Please help. We're pinned down here. Hey, listen, buddy. Grab some explosives and get back to the sewer. 
Go to the gas station. That's where you'll need to blow the fuel tank. Just go through the sewer you came from. What? There we go. So he wants us to return to the sewer. See, I don't remember this aspect, but this is cool. Um, and we have to go to another location behind the enemy. Got Central Park right there. This could be like Park Avenue or close to Park Avenue. Let's put, let's go right here. Oh, Rebel Base, another location, right? The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply no. depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get to no. the station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. Okay, hold on. He just said to get to the police station, you have to. Just... Why do you have to confuse me like this? Um, all right, so we'll go here. Um, enter location. I think this makes sense because we have to get to that gas station. So let's do this. Yo, man, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> Yo, man. Very two o three. Check that. You found some. Man, this needs a sequel. Oh, says Kukalatra. Exactly. I'm glad they did a remake here, though. I really am. This is this is one of those games that like I played so much, but I totally forgot about. And then when I saw it in the store, I was I was so psyched, man. Probably should have used the Molotovs. I was saying earlier, the shooting reminds me so much of Time Crisis. We got a freedom fighter. No way, pal. No one gets by until Isabella is free. All right, all right. Can't forget about that C4 that we picked up either. Yes, the good days. I hope I'm far enough away. Oh, yes. We get the charisma boost. And I remember this song. So cool, man. Just very epic music. I wonder if we have to keep going, or if we simply exit, or we go back to the sewer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I th no, I think we go back to the police station, right? We can only come back here once we free Isabella. Please do follow us, guys, if you're new. We're trying to build our audience from YouTube here on Twitch. 15k on YouTube and only 950,000 here. 950! I wish it was 950,000. <laughs> My god. If I jinx myself in a good way, then I'll take it. All right, let's do another location. Oh, thank you for following us. Uh, Kukaracha. Or Kukalarcha. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> let's see. Um, so I'm guessing we go police station, right? Secure the police station and liberate our leader, Isabella. Raise your flag to signal our relief. The police officers... Welcome aboard. Now we've got a nice assault rifle to assist us here. I'm so used to, like, the graphics of, of recent games that I was pressing V to see if I could change view to first person. <laughs> Not that I mind third person. This is, What happened to all the cops? Oh, my goodness. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're going to infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. I know where the subway is. And this is like, this is the stuff that makes me nostalgic about New York, wanting to go back. Is the subway, oh, the subway's closed. Come, you, got, come on. Am I going to use the subway tunnel, or am I just going to go ahead and jump right in? I might just, oh, I, I knew the subway was there. All right, well, it still worked out. We got damaged a bit, I'm not going to lie. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We got to switch our gun. Gotta get one of those assault rifles. 
not even remembering what cover is. I'm not even sure if there is cover. Cover is be careful. Or, or do this, do control. Or America. Oh, World in Conflict is great. That's another um, kind of oldie but goodie. I think it's it's more recent than um, Freedom Fighters. We have a few videos on the uh, YouTube channel. Actually, quite I think a campaign on the YouTube channel for uh, World in Conflict. But I find World in Conflict to be like way too easy a game. I I could find the same to be true here about Freedom Fighters given time. All right, baby. I would like to find some ammunition. Wait, is he loyal? I like I like how this police officer has been here the entire time with a subway tunnel full of uh, Russian infiltrators, and, he, and no, they haven't noticed one another. Oh, 2003, I miss you so much. Oh, boy. We got to get a Molotov for that. Oh, yeah. We are going to get totally wasted there. Let's restart location. Well, waking up to the realities of the game now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No name jellyfish. The, um... Actually, I've been planning to do, do it for a while. The recent uh, Red Alert and Command and Conquer remakes are really fun. And they actually have, like, sort of an upgraded view if you want to switch to that, which which makes the game look a little a little bit nicer than it origi originally did. Uh, I want to play that here on the Twitch channel for sure. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're going to infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. He did say he recommends. We don't necessarily have to use the subway tunnel. We could try to go straight in. But that's probably not a good idea. I like the displacement of the shots, too. It's like, if anybody's ever fired a pistol, it's actually a pretty realistic displacement. You know, we're, like, aiming right here, but the bullet will jump a bit. Uh, the gun will also recoil a bit. So I, I like that touch. Again, for the time, that was pretty badass, man. Enter the police station through the parking garage, but stay low, or the soldiers will spot you. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a lot of these bad boys. No one can beat a gripper. Oh, uh, I might want to take that back. Reload, reload. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, we got a Molotov! We got quite a few Molotovs. Oh, yeah, baby. Using the Soviets' own weapons against them. Oh, no! They may have us now. I'm gonna throw another Molotov right there. Hopefully defend or escape. But we need, we need a med kit, for sure. Oh, guess what? Guess what we have, folks. Oh! No, you son of a bitch! No, you son of a bitch! Don't do this to me now! Don't do this to me now! Oh, man. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I was so worried there for a second. Revolution. I don't even know if we're supposed to wipe out every single one of these guys, but we're going to. Oh, got a machine gun over there. Using the invaders' own weapons against them. Thank you very much. And now we'll get a good Molotov in there. Oh! Did we hit? Yes, we did. Gotta hide here. Let's get those AKs.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just ramboed in. Well, I was like, I didn't know if we were supposed to go like straight for that garage. I can see now the entrance. <laughs> but at least the uh, the enemy will know who they're dealing with now. Well, let's just walk in the front door, man. I'm not afraid of anybody. America, we're not gonna be like pansies trying to sneak our way through. Oh no! Okay, we gotta try an un-American tactic. We're gonna have to sneak through. That's too bad. Yeah, not Rainbow. Rainbow would be good. <laughs> you know what I think I'll do? Um, let me switch here to just the pistol. So we'll, we won't waste our AK rounds. And this time we really are going to go through the parking lot. Famous last words, WWTV. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. America. We remember it as true patriots. was pretty uh pretty brave oh you oh hell no taste the molotov or not or not okay okay see how it is officer There we go. All right, so this time we're really gonna try to actually sneak in. Let's let's see if we can handle it. Hello. Enter the police station through the parking garage. All right. Okay. He's got the most New York accent possible. All right. Let's get into the police station here. I think there's a door. All right. Let's go through the door. Can you imagine if, if that was the the voice that followed us through the whole game, the narrator? Come on, man. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, we got quite a few t soldiers here. I guess he didn't see us. There's another one down. And we actually have two med kits, um, just in case we need them, which we certainly will eventually. But I'm just yeeting myself through the parking lot here. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna pick up that AK. And look, another med kit. I wonder if we could have uh, two med kits at once. So, uh, let's try. Alright, wait up. I'm going in the door now. <laughs> you guys are in trouble. See, and this is, this is clearly not a Soviet invasion. And I'll show you why. Because the bureaucracy here is, is imperfect, as you can see here. They still have the wanted poster of the woman, but they already have her in custody. This is not, that's just not very Soviet. That, that, that wouldn't happen. Very l huge lack of efficiency. Somebody would be getting shot or sent to Gulag. Maybe I should have gone Molotov. Burn. Gonna grab some more kalash. And again, this is like the very beginning of the Soviet invasion. There's so much more left to go in this game. I do remember the replay value being pretty nice. Do a little peeking. Yeah, we can peek. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna. Eat. Oh! Oh, the peeking was used against me just then. <laughs> I think they expect you to peek. There we go. Oh, you son of a bitch. He's hiding in the room the whole time. Are you. Are you fucking kidding me? There you go. 
Nice. I don't know what that second um, box is, but let me eat up one of the med kits. Man, I miss this game so much, guys. I, I can't tell you how much I miss this game. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, it's very, very old, um, without a doubt. Like, I can tell. I can tell. It's, it feels its age, but I just have so many good memories, so much nostalgia related to it, that I'm loving it. Honestly, like, it could be almost like a mod for GTA, GTA 4 for me. It actually could be a mod for GTA 4. Or like somebody earlier mentioned, like Hitman 2 as well. I think I'm going to start aiming low. That seems to work. Uh, just aiming low instead of aiming high. See if we can find anything in here. Always got to look around for additional weapons. Maybe some more Molotovs. Maybe a med kit? I don't know. Oh, see what I'm talking about, boys? Do you see do you see what I'm talking about? The question is, do we want to switch to a shotgun? And I don't really want to switch to a shotgun. We're going to try. We're going to try it out. Why not? Let's give it a chance. You would expect them to it to kill them in one shot, but uh, all right, I get it. So maybe she's not on this floor. Let's check this room. I'm trying to help America, boys. Oh, she's there. You damn commies. Got my woman. Oh, trying to take, trying to turn Jesus instead of saying Merry Christmas, they say like Happy Holidays. That's. The fear of communism Americans are afraid of. That's what Americans consider communism. Coming in here trying to call my Christmas happy holidays. We're going to burn you with Molotovs. Oh, you you son of a... Damn it. Use that med kit. Ow. They got some, like, actual guards. They're, like, proper guards, it seems, for her. Yeah, they do. They jump from, from low to high. Oh, I hear you, WW2v2. I think if not for older games, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. Like, I think most of the pe most of the games people want to see are older games that uh, have kind of been forgotten or just games that aren't played as often. I think the newer, just like the newer generation of cinema, the newer generation of gaming in terms of, like, what they like, I just think they aim so fucking low, man. So low. Um, I, I just recently played that game Valorant that people seem to love. I found it so boring. There's just nothing there, you know. Um, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, this is where we get to hoist the flag. So this is, of course, like slapping the Soviets in the face, in the face for uh, raising the flag above Berlin. It's sort of the American version of that. And it's pretty cool animation here. I do remember this. So check it out. America. Yeah, baby. How do we do? 30 enemies killed. We did it, boys. We won the game. GG. Alright, nice. I like that autosave feature, by the way. Okay. Hey, man. I could dig it. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Like, honestly. I, I, I really can dig it. It's pretty cool. Give me a minute. I need to call of nature. I'll be back. One minute, boys.
sorry about that, guys. Had to take a little break from saving America. All right, let's uh, let's get back here. See what's next. So now it's the post office, isn't it? The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing in the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. Let's go save our brother, boys. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. Oh, I will follow you anywhere. I'll scan that area. In fact, I'll, I'll follow her. If, even if she asks me to stop follow, I'll still follow. That's that's the kind of dedication I have to the revolution, guys. I will I will follow this woman until she calls the police on me. Here we go. Oh, I know you. Isabella. Didn't let me in last time, huh? And I owe it all to this man. Hey, you must be Chris. Come on in. I don't know if you guys noticed, like, um, I barely notice it. And it could just be the game itself, but... It's a little clippy at certain moments, like when the characters are trying to move normally. Not when they're actually in action, but that's... I, it could just be something that occurred at the time that I totally forget about, where, like, there will be a little clippiness in a game. Especially when she's, like, opening doors and walking and stuff. Just, like, it's not lag. It's just, like, mild clipping. It's barely noticeable. The lights aren't helping either, like the flashing fluorescent lights. <laughs> What are you trying to show me, woman? Here we have an overview of the enemy compound. You can see them unloading equipment. They're using this post office as a temporary command center and planning further advances into the city from here. It would really set them back if we recaptured this area. You won't be alone. Ever since you proved yourself by rescuing me, people are starting to believe in you. Nice. Looks like they see us. That they're actually aiming at us. Okay, two freedom fighters can join us. Nice. We finally got our freedom fighters, guys. This is what the game's really about. So, of course, now we're kind of commanding them. Uh, what do we do? What's the button to, to attack? There is an attack button. Please tell me they're going to at least give us info on how to send the freedom fighters into action. Okay, well, it's all right. We'll figure it out. There we go. So, two is attack. Remember, Move in. find the reds. Your men will fight every enemy in the direction you're pointing them. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're going to need our help anymore. If you can see the AI is a little imperfect, <laughs> the guy who's right next to him. <laughs> there we go. Good job, son. We're gonna send our first after him. Great, you're a true leader. No, oh, sometimes it's important Destroy. to know where to fall back. Get on top of the container. Once again, our freedom fighters are very, doing something very strange. <laughs> Just kind of standing there. Nice. That works. Running towards the enemy. Get up there. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, son. We got one more med kit. Yeah, a little jank in this old engine. Absolutely. I like that term, a little jank. Ah! Oh, that's not good. And we don't even have a med kit to fix that error. There we go. One more. Pull out! Moving out! Hit their position! See, it's weird. The AI doesn't seem to really be responding. Gotta get some ammo.
Yeah, see, he's not attacking him at all. That's weird. Got to figure out what's going on there. There might be a game update in, uh, in progress right now. I'm not sure. It's definitely not, not hitting me right. There we go. Let's make sure we pick up enough Kalashnikovs to not need a reload. Die! There we go. Let's get our boys up. Oh, you know what? I think we need med kits to Remember get them up. To check the map once in a while. If I'm not mistaken. We're gonna need to go look for a med kit, but we need one for ourselves right now. See if we find anything over here. It's always good to look for like an ambulance. The ambulances will have med kits in the back. Let's see if we see an ambulance. No. using the map we can always come back here um, to, to actually so the fix them up your targets they might make life easier for you but yeah it's not working the attack thing isn't working so I might just have them follow me from now on oh baby Lordy. oh yeah I didn't think we we're gonna make that I guess we'll try it again with the troops, um, but I'm just not going to have them attack. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. Unless somebody has some suggestions there on the uh, troop attack thing. Can't remember if they like unlock skill levels and get better over time. I'm, I'm anticipating that's what's what's probably going on. this man hey, you must be Chris come on in let's go this is only a temporary base we're using it as a staging place for this mission let's plan our next move like it or not you have a new nice profession work. now freedom fighter so cheesy but the cheesiness of this game is actually what make one of the reasons that makes it so good it's sort of an, an acceptable cheesiness that's even a word here we have an overview of the enemy compound you can see them unloading equipment they're using this post office as a temporary command center and planning further advances into the city from here it would really set them back if we recaptured this area. You won't be alone. Ever since you proved yourself by rescuing me, people are starting to believe in you. All right. I'll let you lead two of my best men into action. We're rolling. You got Let's it. Move. Right You'll never Let's know move. what hit them. As long as they are recruited, these guys will follow you wherever you go, just like bodyguards. So I think that's the idea. Instead of uh, sending them to attack, we're, we're just going to have them regroup on us. Follow us into combat. Remember, you are the leader. You can issue your men commands. Order them to attack that We'll try. Fall back. Roger, let's roll. Move in. Go. Eliminate your them. men will fight every enemy in the direction you're pointing them. Okay, so now they're responding. That's... Maybe we just needed to follow the tutorial's instructions for it to even register. That is possible. Oh, no way! How did that not just instantly kill us? Is our guy okay? Let's regroup. Regroup. Great. You're a true leader. No, sometimes it's important to know when to fall back. This is an important vantage point. Gives you an overview of the battlefield. Useful for strategic maneuvers. From here, you can command your troops and cover them at the same time. Oh! Look at all the good stuff we got up here. We got med kits. 
No, no, no. Keep attacking. Keep. Don't listen to me. Just keep attacking. This is how I remember this uh, this part of the game working. Regroup. Take them out. Destroy that obstacle. Go, boys. Try to pick up another Kalash. Kalashnikov. Only seven rounds, man. I do remember, though, in this game, like, having to save bullets being a pretty cool factor. There we go. That's what we need. Full clips. Oh. Good work, guys. Remember to check the map Watch once in a while. Scout that area. Send them into harm's way so we don't have to go there. Whoa! Talk about jankiness. Get him, boys. We got a commissar popping out of here. Thank goodness we have enough uh, clips to move on, or, or sorry. No, it's clips. Is it clips? Magazines, that's right. Additional med kits, too. Yeah, good work. Somebody just, did somebody fire her rocket? Or is that just the physics? Good work. Oh, one of our boys is down. Let's go help him. First of all, let me eat my med kit. Why can't I take that one? There we go. Oh, they really went right through, man. These guys are badass. This will help the pain. Welcome back. Pull out. Thank you. It's already getting better. Yeah, these guys are tough. See, we can't take that med kit. That's that's a that's a glitch for sure. Find the red. Observe and Okay, never mind. Come back here. Come back here. <laughs> They're going a little too far. We've got some more med kits in here, but it looks like we have a limit. We should be able to take three med kits. So these are just kind of fake. Look at all the med kits they have in here. A hostage. Oh! Good work, boys. Good work. Good work, good work, get them, boys. All right. There's my brother. Where did he go? Where, where did he go? I'm gonna keep attacking. Let's get that flag up. I see it, I see it. All right, get up there, boys. Go, go. America! We got him. That's where the good part comes in. Who authorities believe to be the new leader of the resistance. 
Isabella Angelin, seen in these pictures, is an important member of the underground resistance movement, and the operation looked like a carefully planned and executed rescue attempt. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be a male Caucasian in his early 30s. Earlier today, I interviewed our leader, General Tatarin, on the situation. This sort of action against the Soviet Liberation Army will not be tolerated. Soviet Liberation Army. <laughs> What's on store in weather front tomorrow? Oh man, the, the script in this game is so good. Again, like really cheesy, but in an acceptable way. And again, these scenes of like getting back to the sewer after these missions used to, used to be like foster such a sense of accomplishment. I can't express that enough. Like I've played the game before, so it's, it's not getting to me too much. Also, the graphics are a bit dated, but man, what a cool game. Also, for any other Doomers in their early 30s, this is one of those games where we get to be the heroes. Absolutely, man. Chris, for three months, the Soviets have been pouring soldiers and equipment into the city. We have to plan every move. They're in Brooklyn. The people need to see that there is hope. If we stumble now, that'll be lost. Yeah, man. The Reds are everywhere, and they brought plenty of toys. Yesterday, our boys tried to blow a bridge on their supply route. Only today, red trucks are rolling back and forth like nothing happened. I tell you, if I demoed that bridge, there'd be nothing left to put back together. Instead, they got more soldiers than ever sitting on it. Yo, give me some TNT, and I'll blow that baby or die trying. Hang on, let's get real. Uh, that bridge is important, but we really need to capture the command center, too. The Soviets deploy their troops from the old fire station. We need... Say no more. I guess here I don't get any freedom fighters. So I gotta find them. Oh, there we go. How you doing, man? Let's move. Oh, hello. This way. Good shot. <laughs> Now these guys actually have Ushanka, so I'm guessing they're somewhat, uh, somewhat higher grade Soviet troops. Fall back. Pull out. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Go Sweep that area. We're gonna have to get up there ourselves, I'm pretty sure. Now this is the fun part. Hello. America, boys. Nothing like using a DPS HK to show how American you are. Is that all of them? Hope our freedom fighters can handle that for now while we're focusing on the rest of the enemy here. Imagine being the occupying army in this scenario. Like, I think the rebels are a bit too good here. Let's get down there. Good shooting, man. Eliminate target attack. Take them out. Hit their position. Should try to use a Molotov on him. Oh, I hope it reaches. Come on. No! Yeah, I was being way too cocky there. Way too cocky there. 
That was fun, though. That was fun, being able to take the, the heavy machine gun there. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's get after him. And this time I'm going to take We're this fellow. Oh, we can't choose. Well, that's no fun. Watch for Soviets. I'll report back and see what's over there. You got it. Let's do this, boys. Wipe them out. Gonna get on that MG again. This time we'll have support. Oh my goodness, armored car. That is not something I remember. Headshot. All right, let's regroup. So now we have to find a way to take out that MG without getting too close. And again, I think really the only way is going to be to throw the Molotov. Maybe we can take cover. You guys see this? Like the, the steps. We can get behind the, the steps and kind of maybe inch our way forward. I wonder if that's going to work. There's a lot of like alleyways here we can use. Hope that worked. Yeah, bring some of them. Shouldn't be wasting so many damn Molotovs, and there's another machine gun there. Just have them regroup at this point. Oh, man. Kill him. Oh no! No, you you sneaky son of a bitch! We got him. You're back on the MGs. No! Oh man! I am just like so used to the easy games of today. We can do this. We can do this. Come on! I refuse to give up. It's it's just just a little tap that we need to improve here tiny portion of this of this strategy there we go we got to recruit the other fighter this time My goodness all of our boys just got hit there by a massive explosion although it did seem to kill all the soviets too or most of them oh man whoa we did not have that happen before <laughs> looks like he snuck up on us Let's try to repeat what we did last time, kind of hiding here using the alleyways. Even if we have to, like, shoot them down one by one, I'll make it happen. There we go. Oh, man. You Soviet sums of bitches. Oh, no! Oh, no! Not realize they completely overran our position. We have plenty of medkits to uh, heal our men. That's if we survive this this attack here. Take it easy. A 
America will never lose this fight. Come on, boys. Frickin' it's gonna be tough to destroy. Please work a bit too far. A bit too far. There we go. That's a direct hit. I see what could be an officer up there, but I'm just trying to wipe out the machine gun. Come on. Make sure to follow us, guys, if you're new here to our Twitch channel. We're trying to grow this sucker into a, a decent channel. It's not easy. Oh, boy. So maybe if we just target that, they'll keep it under fire? Is that possible? Nice, he's going up there. He's going up there, man. What? I don't know why that didn't reload for the longest time. All right, got to cross the bridge. Let's regroup. First of all, I'm going to eat one of those med kits, and I'm just going to search around here. See if we can find any med kits, bombs, whatever they, they could have hidden. Even just picking up the Kalashnikov rounds. Be nice if there's like an achievement for destroying some of these trucks here. Oh! Oh no 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 no! I don't remember this. I'm not even sure if we're supposed to shoot at this thing. Try to throw a Molotov at it? No way. Now look at our guy, so strategic, running right up the middle. <laughs> this should help. Man, what are we supposed to do? Do we? Is there an MG? I don't see an MG. There's no way it can be a Molotov. There's just no way. Have to go back and look for more rifle rounds, all sorts of fun stuff. If anybody has any bright ideas on how to cross this, let me know. Right now, I'm just going to look for more machine gun rounds and hope that solves our problems. Oh, no. He's doing another heroic charge as well. Yeah, those never work out very well, do they? Nope. Guessing we just have to yeet by it? I don't know. Maybe just yeet by the target and uh, and hope for the best. Could go grab some more uh, rounds. Let's go back to the area we uh, attacked previously. Killed a bunch of Russians there. Hopefully, there will be some stuff we can grab. Yeah, I might just try to yeet on past... Oh, we got a revolver! Now that's cool. Okay, we got medkits. Hey, we might still have a chance here. Maybe we should have gone this way. Wow. Yeah, guys. Seeing some additional possibilities here. This means having to go back, though. Ah! I love the revolver. <laughs> Do 
Another thing is there could be like a weapon here, um, RPG or something we can take. Look at all those guns on the street. Whoa. Nice! Got them both. It could be a 2v2. I think, I think you got it. I think it must be that. Like, we should have gone this way instead of going the other way. We kind of, like, skipped past a bunch of stuff. That guy looks like Spetsnaz. I'm almost wanting to, like, run over there and heal our boys, but I think it would be a bad choice right now. Just keep our distance and hit the enemy. It'd be really nice to have a Kalashnikov. Or, not a Kalashnikov, a Molotov, excuse me. Oh yeah, scared him away scared him away from the best point here on the map. Good shooting. There's still another machine gun there, I want to be careful. But I wonder like what was this guy guarding? I'm thinking there could be something over here, because it did seem like he was guarding this area. Uh just game design, I don't know. <whistles> Hello. Oh, oh, we're already taking so many shots, man. <sighs> we just cannot get past that. Well, at least we know how to approach this, so we just can't go the first way. We have to go this way. And yeah, there's nothing in the game that really tells you to do that. I, I think back during this time, I would have been kind of annoyed by that. But in today's games, that's that's okay. It's not a big deal. Let's bring the shotgun fighter this time. Go for it. Move in. Get their position. Oh shit! I, just, I may have just hit one of our uh, freedom fighters with a big explosion. He'll be okay. He's gonna survive. Alright, now we're powered up. We're not afraid of nothing. Let's go, boys. Oh, look at that. We got some more freedom fighters here. Okay. Yeah, that's starting to make sense. Now, we don't have enough charisma to get any more of them, but still pretty neat. Could also swap my pistol out for a revolver there. And let's go. That Try to help our boys however we can. Now we got this, boys. America's gonna win this battle. Well, that's right. We should still have the Molotov. Yep. Come on. Oh, come on with the Molotov, man. Just when you think you've gotten it. There we go. Wipe them out. Get them. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, really? Wow. Wow, we need to make use of the cover here. That is frustrating as hell. <laughs> At least we know which way to go now. I think they'll know what hit him. It's like he gets closer every time we come through here. Good shot. Love that shotgun. All right, let's move. Not a cakewalk, exactly, exactly. It's like in these, you know, older games. It, it wasn't just a cakewalk. I feel like modern games are very easy. Um, I rarely will, like, actually fail a level on a modern game. Get him, boys. Get him. How does he get up there? How the hell? How did he do that? Wipe them out. Copy that. Yeah, I was worried about that. Two. We're going to just try to yeet by here. Three. Get up. Oh, no way. No way, game. No way, game. <laughs> Dude. I'm getting really ticked off now. I'm not going to end the stream until I pass this fucking mission, but I'm I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, like, on the verge here of rage quitting. Let's go. Is he going to... You see, every time, every time he's closer... Sneaky Ivan. Oh, sorry, Freedom Fighter. Sorry. What if we can destroy the armored vehicle? Oh, sorry, I shot shot our freedom fighter again. They're pretty tough, man. They can eat up quite a lot of rounds. Very sneaky. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, says WWTV2. <laughs> I like that. We need to get some better emotes here on the channel, because there would be a perfect emote for the rage quit comment. Yeah. Regroup, get back, eliminate target, destroy that obstacle. I'm gonna stay like far away. Um, you know, maybe we can use the revolver. It's only one round on the revolver, though. I was gonna say maybe we could use it to like kind of snipe the enemy. I think what I'll do is just get up here and maybe just I'll approach the machine guns. Got him. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah, he saw me. <laughs> he didn't like that. Oh! Oh my god, how is that even possible? How is... He's now running at me. Dude, 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 dude. Wow. Wow. At least he burned in the Molotov. <laughs> but that was pretty intense. He just came running right at us. Is there something good up there? Uh, could be. Exactly. Always that one guy that beelines up there. I like that in this game. It doesn't let you remain in cover. Like, they will counterattack. But I think we can probably kill almost all of the troops here, except for the machine gunners, and that'll make things somewhat easier. Can actually provide some pretty decent covering fire there. Yeah. There's another machine gun. There's another machine gun. Oh, yeah. Oh! Where did that come from? Thank you. It's already getting better. Whoa! It's a sniper. See, I thought we killed that guy when we were coming up. That's the Spetsnaz guy. Well, he's dead now. And now, I, uh, you guys see, now we can see the uh, actual helicopter. So what we need to do is get on this machine gun, or one of these machine guns. See if there's something here for us to take. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. See if we can find some sort of um, machine. I, I don't know. I don't know what we're really looking for here. An RPG, perhaps? Oh, this looks promising. Oh, look at this, guys. Burn. Burn. Oh, that's right, we have to try to blow the bridge. Yeah, I don't think we have to go this way, we've got to go back. Bit of an open game, I mean, it's not open world, obviously, but, uh, just like multiple directions we can approach from here. So that's the blown bridge. Or maybe this is the bridge we have to blow. I do see some soldiers up there, so I'm gonna advance. Go. Oh boy. Okay, place C4. Yeah, this is the bridge. 
Oh, we don't have C4? You gotta be shitting me. I guess we have to come back here from the, um... What's it called? From the hang- the base or whatever it's called. We should still be able to take the, the fire station, so I'm gonna continue. And I'm still gonna look for C4. Let's head back up. Killed so many of these Soviets, but we're nowhere closer to our goals. I don't think so, anyway. Oh my goodness, more of them! What in the world? I'm so confused. Alright, let's try to go back to the bridge. Oh, it's that guy again. Wait a minute, boys. So maybe we need to go up here. It's the the tagger, the spray painter. Yo, man, blowing up that bridge will stop the west from stepping report. out into the Regroup. other neighborhood. Fall back. Regroup. Oh, report. You need some serious TNT if you're gonna do it right. You got? He doesn't have it. Oh, come on. Come on, follow me. He's like, no thanks. One of our guys is hit. No way. <laughs> Why didn't he make it back? Can't we just leave him behind? He's all the way down there. Look at that, man. Come on. Killing me here. So I think the plan here, or the idea, would have to be, right? We have to go get C4? That has to be the approach. Which means going back to the sewer, I think. Let's go back. Could also try approaching from the other direction, but again, the, the goal here is destroy the bridge, right? So, I think it's one of multiple goals. The other one is capture the fire station, so we'll try to find the fire station. Take a look, we're right there. There's the bridge, fire station. Okay, across the bridge. That one's destroyed, of course. So to get there, yeah, we've got to go this way. Over the bridge we're supposed to destroy. That makes sense. And again, this is still the area with the helicopter, so I'm not sure how we're going to do.
Oh, look at that. Are you serious? He went up to the MG? Wow. Smart. Smart boy. Still didn't get it. I think we're just going to use the old MG against these machine guns. We have no Kalashnikov or Molotovs left. Excuse me. I keep saying Kalashnikovs. Focus, Agrippa. Get him, boys, get him! Just had a baton. Crazy bastard. He ain't dead, is he? Nope. Here we go. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just gonna have to like run right past him. I just don't see any way to destroy this guy unless we lure him over here. Take cover when we need to. Oh man. Oh man. This is not looking good. I think we gotta go back to the sewers. I'm hesitant I'm hesitant to even like help them up because I feel like they're just gonna get shot right back down. kind of the only choice we have. We only have one of these. And we got a sniper too, dude. This is lost cause. Yeah, very lost cause. So much fun, though, man. I, I really do want to beat this one. Um, I'm going to start at the Rebel base this time. And I'm guessing what I need to do is pick up the C4 from the Rebel base. Um, and then head over there. We would have been able to blow up the bridge had we had some freaking explosives on us. Or maybe it's just something we actually have to find. Like, now that I'm kind of looking around, uh, it is possible. Like, maybe we shouldn't just start at the fire station. We should maybe start at the hotel first uh, and work towards the fire station. But I like how this game, you know, sort of makes you mix and match until you get the perfect combination. So we will certainly be back. I had a lot of fun here. A lot of fun streaming for you guys, too. It seems we've got, like, somewhat of a new audience here with this game. So, again, if you're new, please do make sure to follow us. There we go. 2v2. Thank you, buddy. And uh, that is awesome. So we got two followers today. And two followers for me is a great stream. Uh, so let's get back to this game. And I'm going to... I might look up some guides. I, I might actually look up some guides for this mission. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thanks for the, um, the awesome chat, both of you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.